guys, today we're gonna talk all about travel outfits. And these are outfits for when you're actually traveling to your destination, not once you get there. So these are mainly what you would wear if you're doing airplane travel. So anything to wear to the airport and not as much as a road trip or when you actually get to your destination. So today I'm gonna to give you some outfit ideas for when you're flying and also give you some tips on what not to wear while you're flying and also some great tips on what to wear and maybe how to plan. And so when I'm planning an outfit for when I'm traveling, I wanna be comfortable mostly, but I also wanna look good too. So I don't wanna look frumpy. So today I just wanna share with you some do's and don'ts of traveling in the airplane and also give you some outfit inspiration ideas. So let's go ahead and get started. So I travel quite often and I really do love to fly. I used to be a flight attendant and I also will like a good road trip every once in a while. It's just the adventure of getting there. So today I'm just gonna focus on some do's and don'ts of when you are traveling. So some of the things that I never wear when I'm traveling, number one is white, especially on the bottoms because it is so easy to get dirty. You don't know what you're gonna sit in in any of the chairs while you're in the airport or if you go to a restaurant, there could be something spilled. And a lot of times there are things in the airplane themselves to get you dirty. So you never wanna wear white bottoms. The second thing that I never wear is shorts. I really don't want my legs touching the seats that several people throughout the day use and sit in in the airplane. And I also don't want to just have my legs exposed to the chairs in the airport as well. Another reason for not wearing shorts is because I never know if it's gonna be hot or cold. Sometimes the airports can be super cold and chilly and the airplanes be hot, but I don't want to have my legs exposed again and be chilly. So I always like to wear some kind of bottom that is longer length than shorts. The third thing that I never wear on the airplane or in the airport are jumpsuits or rompers. So any kind of one piece, because the only way you're gonna get those off is by taking them completely down. And have you seen the lives in an airplane? You do not want to be taking off your clothes and have the chance that it's gonna hit the toilet, hit the sink, hit the wall, hit the floor. There is urine all over that floor in the lab. So you don't want anything touching that that doesn't have to. Another thing that I don't wear is a dress. I just am more comfortable in, in some kind of pants or joggers or leggings or something like that. So I don't usually wear a dress, but sometimes you might wanna do that. And if so, maybe a maxi dress instead of a mini length dress, just so you're a little bit more comfortable, not gonna be showing anything. So I think as far as clothing goes, that's my list for what not to wear or what I don't wear when I am traveling by air. And that is a personal preference, of course. If you want to wear any of that, that is your choice, but that's just something that I don't wear and it's for reasons that it's either turned out very badly or it's just something that I know is not gonna work out. So let's move on to footwear. Some of the footwear that I never wear, number one is heels. I don't ever wear heels in the airport because I have been that person that you see that is running through the airport trying to make a connection because your flight has gotten in late and you only have 30 minutes in the Atlanta airport, which is an unreasonable amount of time to try to get from one gate to the other gate. So I have been that person that has ran through the airport and I'm not gonna do that in heels. So heels are something that I never wear. The second kind of footwear that I never wear are some kind of boots or something that has a lot of laces. The combat boots or anything like that that has a lot of laces and they're just really high on the leg is gonna be hard to take off whenever you're going through TSA when you have to take your shoes off. So I never use anything that has a lot of laces. Actually, the shoes that I prefer don't have laces at all. They're either slip-on sneakers or some kind of sandal or something like that, not anything that you have to worry about. So heels and any boots, lace-up things, anything like that, I don't wear. I also don't wear shoes that don't have backs to them. Again, back to when I'm running from gate to gate and I don't wanna fall out of my shoes. So I want to have a back on my shoes and that's just a personal preference again. I don't wanna have to slip out of my shoes. So when I'm running, I don't wanna have to worry about they're gonna fall off as I'm trying to get to my gate. So I always wear shoes that have a back on them. So now that I've told you the don'ts, let's move on to the do's. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start showing you different outfits and giving you the tips as I show you the outfits. So outfit number one is gonna be this one that I really like to wear when I'm traveling. And I always like to wear layering pieces most of the time, just because again, you never know if it's gonna be hot in the plane, cold in the plane, or in the airport, the temperatures vary. And also you could be leaving from a temperature that is hot 
and going to your destination that may be cold. So you wanna have that layering piece, if not on, in your carry-on, so you can always put that on if you're going to your destination, or if you're going from a colder destination to a warmer one, you can shed that layer and put it in your carry-on. So make sure you have room in your carry-on to put that layer and have it a nice lightweight layer, just so you can have that layering piece. So I'm gonna start off with this outfit without the layering piece, but then I'm gonna add it on. So I just have a basic V-neck, and this is good for any kind of neutral color, you can wear it when you're on the plane, but you can also have this to add to an outfit while you're at your destination. So this is in a navy color, just because I have this burgundy color on the bottoms, and I think navy and burgundy look so pretty together. The pants are made out of a tinsel material, which is so good for traveling because they don't wrinkle very easily. So that is one tip. You wanna make sure that you are wearing a material that's not going to wrinkle. So these joggers are made out of a tinsel material, which is really good and breathable. You don't wanna wear something too restricting. So these are really nice because they have this elastic waistband. They're just a pull-up style. They do have a drawstring, so you can adjust these as well. And they have pockets, so really nice and comfortable. They also have the elastic at the bottom. So again, you're gonna keep your bottoms off of the floor so you're not dragging anything. That's another suggestion that I have. When it comes to what your bottoms are, make sure that they are not too long where they're dragging. So I do have this paired with some Skechers. A lot of times that's what I'm wearing when I'm going through the airport is a really nice comfortable pair of slip-on shoes and these Skechers are a nice slip-on. So when you're going through TSA and you do have to take off your shoes if you're not TSA pre-check, then these are good because you can just slip them off and put them through the conveyor belt and you don't have to worry about lacing anything. These are also in a navy color, so again, they match back with the navy top. So any of these outfits, I will also link in the description box because I believe most of this stuff is still available. So let me just show you the layering piece that I usually put on this. So I love to layer this with a denim jacket. Almost everybody has some kind of denim jacket in their wardrobe, and I love this wash of denim. It's nice and stretchy, so you can see how much this stretches. You can get some denim jackets that are really restricting and just hard to move in, but this one is a nice and stretchy one. So that's why I really love to travel with this one. It's nice and lightweight enough that you can throw it in your carry-on as you're going about. So this denim jacket and this navy v-neck tee, these tinsel joggers in this wine color, and the navy sketchers is outfit number one. So I always say that I travel with layers just because you never know the temperature anywhere that you're going. So this second outfit idea is something that I reserve for if I am traveling from a cold climate and I am going to a cold climate. So this outfit is from Barefoot Dreams. The top is a Barefoot Dreams sweater and the bottom is the Barefoot Dreams pants. And so they're really nice and comfortable. They're not that real heavyweight. So it's a great dark color. Again, you don't have to worry about any stains or anything. And even though these are super comfortable, I think they look really chic looking. Anytime you have this Barefoot Dreams, you can really make it look chic. And even though I have it paired with sneakers, you look put together, but super cozy. These are almost like wearing pajamas but they're so warm and cozy. So this is the outfit that I would wear if I'm leaving a cold destination and I'm going to a cold destination. And I don't have to worry about that layering piece because I'm nice and warm to begin with. And usually I don't have to worry about the airplane being too hot when I have this on. So this is super cozy and comfortable. You look like a million bucks, but you feel like you're in your pajamas. For outfit number three, I'm gonna show you the look first, and then I'm gonna show you the layering piece over top of it. So I know a lot of people do not like to wear denim jeans whenever they are traveling, but these jeans are just remarkable. They have a really nice comfort stretch band. So you can see there's a lot of give and stretch in this waistband. So they're comfortable, they're not restricting, they're not very constricting, and you don't have to worry about being uncomfortable. A lot of people are uncomfortable in jeans, but if you get that right pair of jeans, you can be comfortable the entire flight. And they are a great dark wash jean. Again, this is something that you can wear while you're traveling to your destination, but then once you get there, this will be something that you don't have to pack, but you can wear with something else while you're at your destination. So I do have a pair of pink slip-ons. These are a faux suede slip-on. Again, something that I don't have to worry about the laces, but they're cute and comfortable. They're kind of like a Hey Dudes knockoff. And I just love this pink color because the layering piece that I'm gonna show you is a pink as well. So I think it really pulls the look together. So these denim in this dark color, again, you don't have to worry about the stains, but it has that really nice comfort waistband. And so you're not gonna have to worry about them being uncomfortable. And then I just have a white tee. So if I am getting hot, I can always shed that layering piece. The layering piece that I'm gonna put with this really elevates this look. So the layering piece that I am adding to this outfit is a blazer. I think a blazer really elevates a look and I chose this knit blazer because it's very comfortable and stretching and forgiving. So you can see how much room you have to stretch in this. 
and you can even button it and have a lot of room so you can see how much room I have on this and it's comfortable but it adds that extra element that extra layer just elevates your look a little bit so you went from just a white tee and some denim jeans to a blazer and so you've really elevated that look so this is nice because it's that layering piece that you want to add and it's comfortable because it's a knit style i would not choose to use a more tailored blazer like a very structured blazer that would be more for work I would choose not to use that because it's gonna be a little bit more tailored and structured. So if it has any kind of lining in it, it's gonna have that little bit of tight feature to it, more fitted with that liner because it's not gonna have that stretch. So this is a knit material with no lining, so it has that stretch. So it makes it really nice and comfortable. It's almost like wearing a sweatshirt, but you've got that blazer look, so it really elevates it. So I'll just back up so you can see the whole look again with the layering piece. I love this look. This is one of my favorite looks just because it has a blazer with it. So let's move on to outfit number four. On to outfit number four. Again, this is going to be one that does not have a layering piece. So I personally love to have a layering piece just because I don't know about the temperature. But if you're someone who doesn't like that layering piece or doesn't feel like you need that layering piece, I wanted to give you some options of some really nice outfits as well. So all of these outfits that I'm showing you today are super comfortable. I don't want to sit in an airplane for hours and hours in economy being uncomfortable, but looking pretty. So I know a lot of people don't like to see people with leggings on the airplane. They complain about it all the time, but I'm showing you a look today with leggings because leggings are just so comfortable to wear. Now these particular leggings are a fleece lined legging. If you're traveling from a cold temperature to a cold temperature, then these are really good because these are fleece lined. They are in navy, so I have finished the look off with the navy sketchers. Just to complete this look, again, a comfortable pair of shoes to walk around with. And then I have this with a nice, cozy sweatshirt. Any sweatshirt will do, but this one's really nice and comfortable. It has a good feel. The fleece on the inside of this is super nice. It's really nice and cozy and warm, but I still think it looks put together and you're gonna be comfortable the entire trip. So these navy fleece lined leggings, the Skechers in the navy color, and then just a great neutral kind of sweatshirt, I think is a really good look as well. For outfit number five, I have a monochromatic look that I wanted to show you, but then I also have a layering piece I wanna put over this as well. So this might be good if you are starting at a cold climate to have the layering piece, and if you're going to a warmer climate to shed that layering piece, this would be a good option, or vice versa. So this is a great monochromatic look. I just have a black tank, and then I have these black crop flare pants. These are made out of a very comfortable knit material. They are a pull-on style. A lot of these that you're gonna see are pull-on style. The only thing that really had buttons was the jeans so far that I've shown you. So this waistband has a stretchy waistband, really nice knit material. It's that crop style wide leg, so you're on trend with the wide leg. I do have this paired with sneakers. So these are a pair of Skechers sneakers again, but they have this marled look that is like a black and gray, so I think it, Makes it to where you can wear it with a lot of different things. So it could dress this up. These are the go walk, so they're nice and comfortable. But I just love this monochromatic look. And then I wanna show you the layering piece that I choose to put over top of this. So the layering piece with this outfit, I chose a moto jacket. So you can get some moto jackets that are really nice and comfortable that have a stretchy material. You don't want anything that's really binding or tight that you don't have a lot of room in. So nothing like a leather, unless it's a really soft leather. So this is a Liverpool moto jacket. So comfortable, you guys. I don't know what the material is, but it's so good. It almost has like that washed out look to it, but it has a lot of stretch. So you can see again how much this stretches. All of these layering pieces are gonna be something stretchy, but you can see how I took that monochromatic look where you just had that plain tank and these crop flare pants. And then I added this, layering piece, this moto jacket that made this elevated so much more. So you look really expensive and sophisticated when you add that layering piece. That's why I love to layer, just because I never know of the temperature, but because you add that extra element and layering pieces are just so nice to make it look a little bit better to add that just right amount of interest on an outfit. So I love the gray color with this monochromatic look and I think it's really super cozy. Now we're down to the last outfit. I'm gonna show you the outfit without the layering piece first, like I've been doing, and then I'm gonna show you the layering piece over top of it so you can kind of see how it would look if you didn't have that layering piece. So I have just a regular Mosal tee. So that's really nice and comfortable and loose. It's from Barefoot Germs. Of course, any tee is gonna do. These are a little bit more expensive, but any tee, a V-neck tee. But I chose this light pink color because I like how it goes with the navy. 
These pants are the Pret a Petty pants from White House Black Market. And you guys, these are so comfortable. So you've got that nice pant on the bottom. And again, I chose a darker color. It's in the navy. But I really love the way these are comfortable. Now, this is another pair that's going to have a button and a zipper. So all your other ones were the pull-on except for the denim jeans. But these also have a button. But they're comfortable. You can see there's a lot of stretch in these as well. Another thing that I like about these pants and the reason that I choose these pants for traveling is because they also have a tab and a button. So you can roll these up and make these a little bit shorter. So if you need to have that longer length, then you've got the opportunity to do that. But then if you want to shorten the length a little bit and make it a crop style, you can do that as well. So even though they're a little bit more of a fitted style, these are still very comfortable because the waistband is nice and comfortable and then you do have that stretch in the legs. These pants also come in curvy and regular and petite. That's why I really like these. They're so versatile on the sizes that you can get and the fits that you can get. But what I also again like about it is the fact that you can also make them cropped if you want to. So I have this pink top because I think pink and navy look so pretty together. And then I finished these off with these Skechers, these navy Skechers. You did see these in some other looks. I just love these. They're dark. They're comfortable. They're so lightweight and they're just really nice if you have to run through the airport or whatever. If you're running to get to the gate or through security, then they're nice and comfortable. So with this outfit, I choose this Barefoot Dreams top. So this is a newer top that I've gotten for a layering piece, but it has a hoodie on it. So I like that option. And then it does zip. So it's kind of like a mix between a jacket because it does have the zipper or a hoodie because it does have the hoodie or a poncho style because of the way that it is. It's kind of like a poncho style. So I do love this one. This one also looks good if you wear this with some leggings too, but I just love this layered look and the colors I think just all go together. You got the neutral color in this short sleeve cardigan jacket hoodie from Barefoot Dreams. And this is the Cozy Chic Ultra Light. So it's their lighter weight material and it's just really nice and soft. So it's it's almost like you have your own blanket. So I hope that this video has been helpful to you guys. If you're someone that has never flown on a plane before and you wanted some inspiration on some outfits that people are wearing or that would be nice and comfortable while you're on the plane, I hope this was helpful to you. Or if you're someone who travels all the time and you're like, I need to freshen up my look a little bit, I hope this was helpful to you as well. Again, I will link everything that is still available in the description box for you guys in case you want to shop from this video if you're somebody that likes to get some new outfits when you're traveling. But if you're someone that just wants to kind of shop from your closet, I hope that this gave you a little bit of inspiration on some things that you could put together to look put together and to be comfortable at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I also have a few travel vlogs whenever I travel. I like to do a what I wore and maybe do some clips of where I am traveling to. So I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.